This is exactly how I overcame my analysis paralysis. I'll tell you right now, like, I still struggle with this. It's not like something that just kind of disappears. Some people are more prone to it than others, but this is how I deal with mine, and I just hope it can help you. So when I'm dealing with analysis paralysis, and if you guys don't already have a really good understanding of what analysis paralysis is, it's basically when you want to do something, right? Maybe you want to start a business, or you want to, let's say you want to, for the instance of this video, let's say you want to do a podcast. Before you take any action, you start thinking every single possible outcome that will happen if you were to release that podcast. You start thinking of all the negative things, all the positive things, uh, all the what ifs, all the maybes, all the buts, its, ands, whatever. You start thinking about everything, right? And you analyze every little thing because what essentially you're doing is you're trying to analyze everything so that way you can try to avoid failure and you can try to avoid maybe something you're, you're fearful about. Like if you don't want to get criticized or you don't want to get rejected or you don't want to fail in front of other people, you're going to analyze every single possible thing that can happen so that way you can try to avoid something that you are fearing. And so for me, what it was is when I was doing YouTube and when I was, when I am doing YouTube and when I was doing social media, um, I was really afraid of rejection. I was really afraid of criticism, right? And it's kind of funny because when you're doing videos, you have to be okay with certain things like that. And so it took me many years to start because I was trying to think of a way I can become this perfect person so that way it would be impossible for people to criticize me. And it sounds pretty crazy, but that's, that's really how my brain was allowing me to think. So you gotta understand that your analysis process is coming from a place of fear. You're afraid of something. There is something that you're afraid of and maybe you know why. You need to figure out what that reason is because it's always important that you find out exactly what it is um, that is that is the stent, like the root cause of your analysis paralysis. So for me, it was the fear of rejection. So that's the first thing is figure out exactly um, what your analysis paralysis is stemming from. Is it fear of rejection? Is it fear of criticism? Is it just the fear of failure? Or is it all three of those things? So define that thing that's really important. Um, another thing that I had to do in order to overcome this was to literally learn how to like shut my brain off because a lot of people are overthinkers. We like to overthink things. We like to overanalyze um, and that stems from anxiety. You feel like you have to figure everything out in the beginning and the funny part about being an entrepreneur or somebody that just wants to do something that's different is you have to fail when you start. That's just, that's just what's going to happen. You have to be okay with failure and understand that it's a it's a marathon and not a sprint right anything that you're gonna you're gonna do in life that involves risk there's a high chance you're gonna fail and there's nothing wrong with that so what i started to do is when i started noticing that i was overthinking it's really easy to notice um i would literally just stop myself and i would just pause and i would do my best to imagine like just nothing i would close my eyes and i would just like try to just let these thoughts like just disappear from my mind like one by one because when we're overthinking, there could be like a million different thoughts that we're analyzing all at once. And if you do that for a long enough period of time, you're going to drain yourself out and you're just going to feel extremely stressed out. So when you notice yourself start to overthink, you have to shut your brain off. Like what I would like to do is I would literally imagine like a light switch in my brain, right? And just how fast you turn a light on and off, that's exactly how I would imagine this light switch in my brain to where I just go from thinking all these thoughts and just turning that light switch off, turning off the thinking and just doing exactly what it is I needed to do. And now that's a very powerful thing to imagine. It got me to do things that I was really afraid of doing. Um, I mean, I've been posting now on YouTube for you know three months. I've been posting on my social medias for three months. I used to be extremely afraid of doing those things. I was extremely afraid of rejection, extremely afraid of criticism. But like, I knew that this is what I wanted to do, and I could not stop myself from thinking. Like, I, I just it just wouldn't stop. Like, it was terrible, right? And I, I wasn't getting anywhere. I wasn't making any progress. So, I literally just had to turn my brain off and just start taking action. It's it's really as simple as that, right? It's, it's, it's a simple concept, but it's not easy to do, if that makes sense. But the faster you're able to realize those things, the better you're gonna be when it comes to your analysis paralysis. You just have to learn to trust your process. I know that's like so cliche, like I know that's hard to do. Like I struggle doing it, 
but ultimately that's that is what is going to set you astray from that and it's, it's not easy man i'm not here to complain about what i'm going through but i go through this every single day right because i i have to do so much in my business i have to do so much that it has consumed me in my past it still does it's to where like i i literally will just overthink so much and i'll get nothing done and i get so frustrated i get so mad at myself because i'm like it's like what am i even doing right now like i know what i'm supposed to be doing but i'm not doing it so a lot of you guys are facing that i know that's it's very difficult to overcome um but you can overcome it you just have to trust your instincts even though failure is, is something that you're afraid of or rejection is something that you're afraid of think about your purpose think about what you're trying to do there's probably a really good reason as to why you want to do that thing and you have to ask yourself it has to come to one question is your fear of rejection is your fear of failure is your fear of criticism bigger than the purpose that you are supposed to be serving and if the answer is no to that then you have to take action you have to you have to just turn your brain off like just shut it off like a light switch like i said and just start taking action don't even think about it don't think just do it's better it's better to go out there and fail than to not take any action at all and the reason for that is because even if you do fail miserably right worst case scenario you fail miserably at least you know you tried at least you know you gave it your absolute best rather than living your life every single day and always questioning yourself well what if i just started what if i just gave it my best shot like what would have happened i wonder what would have happened if i would have just done it i wonder what would have happened like you're going to always ask yourself questions in that format i wonder if what would have happened if what if i just did this like you're always going to be living in a, a life full of questions and it's not good to live a life like that because what stems from those types of questions is regret one day you're going to be so old and you're going to be like why did i just never start that thing because now i'm 55 years old i don't care what anybody thinks about me back then i cared so much about all these dumb things that just don't matter the doctor just told me i have two years left of my life to live i have cancer why didn't I do that thing I always wanted to do? It doesn't even matter. Who cares what other people think? Who cares about the rejection? Who cares about the fear? Like, why didn't I just start? And guys, I, the last thing I would want for you watching this is to live your life and never start the thing that you really want to do. It's a terrible life to live, man. And you don't, you don't want to live a life like that. I don't want to live a life like that right so just start stop thinking just turn your brain off just turn your brain off just shut it off all the all those thoughts close your eyes and all those thoughts that are in your mind just let them leave your mind one by one let every single one of those thoughts leave your mind once you have done that try to maintain that empty mind and without thinking just go and do what you want to do just start because it's the first time you're going to do that thing that's going to be the hardest because you haven't made it a habit yet. Just focus on making that thing a habit. Desensitize yourself to that thing. Go fail a million times. Go get used to failure. Go get used to rejection. Go desensitize yourself to those things. Don't let those things hold you back because that is the one thing that will always hold you back from your life. Trust me, it's worth it. I wanted to make a different style video. I wanted to make this video more raw because this is currently something I'm truly facing with. My other videos, I feel like I put on more of a more of a show for you guys. You know, I got the nice editing. I got, you know, all the all the you know dramatic shifts of changes and this and that. But now nah, this is this is real, man. You know, a lot of people face analysis paralysis, and I, I take it very serious. And I want you guys to see like it's real. Like, I'm not perfect. A lot of people face it. And when I was trying to find videos on analysis paralysis, 
I just, I didn't find anything that really calmed my voice. Like, there's a lot of good information out there, but I wanted it from a human. I wanted to hear from a human that they're struggling with this. And so I feel like a lot of you could have benefited from hearing my personal experience. And I could share with you how I overcome it every single day. Because if I didn't overcome it, I wouldn't be posting videos. I wouldn't be making any progress with my social medias, nothing. So that's all I got for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And just please make sure to subscribe if you guys enjoyed this content and you want more content like this, more raw stuff that's not really a lot of editing, right? Because I'll do either or, whatever you guys want. So just let me know. Thank you guys for making it to the end. I really hope this helped and I'll see you guys in the next video.